Let us talk about single page applications because you can absolutely upload these to S3 and they will work with some configuration. So what is an SPA? Well, it is when you have a single page, like an index.html page, and it's dynamically creating other pages using JavaScript and it's happening client side. Notice that I'm using the word dynamic. You absolutely can do dynamic stuff on static website hosting. It's considered static because there's no server side stuff happening. You can't dynamically generate pages server side because there's no server serving the pages. Um, or at least you don't have access to the server to uh, write additional code to do so. Um, so understand you can do dynamic stuff. Now, the idea here is that when you have a single page application, everything has to go to the index.html page. However, if you're gonna put in those URLs into your browser, the forward slash is gonna to go to index.html and when you attempt to go to a dynamically generated page, such as pages forward slash about, you're gonna get an error code, maybe a 403, maybe a 404, um, because it's going to expect S3 to have in it a HTML file that has a name of forward slash pages forward slash about. It's still an HTML file, even though it doesn't have the extension. The reason it doesn't have the extension on there is that um, if you wanna have clean um, URLs without the extension, you can just name them without the extension and put them in there. But that's not what we wanna do here. We want everything to go to index.html. So what we can do is when we're using CloudFront, uh, we can set custom error pages. And so this is some cloud formation. Um, this is one way of setting it. You can do it through the console. You can do it through the, probably through the CLI and the SDK. But we're gonna say, let's send the 403s uh, to index.html and change it to response code 200. And that way you're going to route everything to that index.html uh, HTML page. Um, could you do that uh, at the, uh, the error document? Possibly if you're not using CloudFront, should it be a 404 instead of a 403? It really depends if you're using OAIs, OACs, your bucket policies. But for the most part, what always works for me is CloudFront 403. So that's what I want you to remember. And, and the optimal configuration is gonna be utilizing an OAC. Of course, we'll cover this again when we take a look at CloudFront as this kind of feels like more like CloudFront, but unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, but these services work really closely together. So we have to talk about CloudFront quite a bit we're talking about static website hosting. So yeah, hopefully that is clear. The takeaways, yes, you can do SPAs. You gotta configure a custom error page and point back to the index HTML page. There you go.